what the hell's going on, people? This is Periodic, and you see the title of the video. We are jumping back into Seven Deadly Sins, Grand Cross, and we're doing it with zero power. <laughs> so this is going to be my first, maybe my first ever um, video that I've ever done straight from my phone only. So recording, I'm um, using the Google Play thingy, recorder, thingamajigger, and uh, we're recording the gameplay landscape mode and we're going to do some summons on the uh esterosa banner now a lot of people are like um maybe you should save maybe you should skip but to be honest i need a better pvp team than what i'm rocking right now i just need a lot of better units like i only just came back to the game it's been not that long that i've been putting effort in so it's like yo esterosa just top tier counter unit we gotta throw some diamonds at him not to mention i'm at 190 so i'm probably gonna do like five multis um if i get like completely shafted maybe i'll throw a six i don't know uh i think it's what 300 is what gets you the guaranteed thing i, I don't even remember uh, to be honest, I haven't summoned on this game in a long time. I think the last time I summoned on this game legitimately was the Escanor banner. Um, I didn't even summon on the AOT um, collab because I was like, uh, I heard a lot of people saying that they're not really worth it, um, even though they're pretty good. Like, um, What's crazy, actually, is um, doing like the Titan Elimination and doing all the missions and stuff like that, you're able to acquire um, the tickets. And so I did a multi, and I got the Levi. So I was like, you know what? That's not bad. Take the Levi. Uh, but anyway, um, obviously we're going for, I believe, the green uh, Esterosa. I think the red one is pretty bad, if I remember correctly. Yeah, the red one I, I hear is okay, but the green one is the one that's the, the top dog. Um, I'm also just missing a lot of SSRs. Like, I'm pretty sure I don't have... Um, a ton of people here. Death Pierce, Arthur. I definitely don't have that red Arthur. Um, I have Slater for sure. Um, I don't think I have Helbrum neither, even though it's like it is what it is. It is what it is. So yeah, I'm missing a lot of units. But like I said, the prize is the Escanor. And the banner doesn't look phenomenal, but listen, let's just throw some multis at it. Um, I don't know if this is going to be the last video I record straight from my phone. <laughs> Because, like I said, power's been out since last night. Um, actually, like, yesterday afternoon. So it's been over a full day, over 24 hours. Hopefully, if you're living on the East Coast, uh, anywhere, Northeast, Southeast, whatever, uh, and you have been impacted by this, hopefully everybody's okay in your family, not much damage, all that stuff, right? So let's jump into this. Uh, multi number one. Let's see what we get. Come on. Hit the damn screen. Um, I'm also not 100% sure on what the... Okay, we got Hawk there. I think that means something. And he's got a twig. Though sometimes the twig doesn't mean anything. And we're going to lose. Okay, that's not good. That's definitely no bueno. Um, I think Hawk means that we're going to get some kind of Hawk type of character here. So let's see here. I think that's what it means. Let me know in the comments below. I mean, there's probably a lot to write, but oh, we're going to just straight up lose, huh, dog? Oof, yeah, that's a rough arena. That's a ripperoni. That's a ripperoni. Um, all right, so I have three potential fake outs. I don't know if it'll actually happen, but we'll see. Um, let me know if you guys actually want in this Esterosa banner or not. Um, what's also weird is I guess I'll talk about it a little bit because like I was planning, I wanted to make a Dogon battle video. Um, cause obviously that's my main game up there. It is right there. Hawk and Elizabeth. Um, I wanted to make a Dogon battle, um, video, but it's like, it's annoying because you can't landscape Dogon. So it's like, it, it just would look really weird with the black bars. But if that's what I, I'm going to have to do, it is what it is. Like, I still want to make my showcase video on, um, the strength goku black eza and uh yeah i haven't put it out yet so it's like you know we, we gotta we gotta throw that out what's annoying too was yesterday i was actually planning on recording a ton of videos for the week um the young arthur who is it no that's uh arden i'm sorry it's arden i forgot I, it threw me off uh, arthur's hair is, is gold uh there it goes speaking of arthur boom same hairstyle funny enough 
for the most part. Oh, that was new from Arden. Okay, that's why he didn't look familiar. That's why he didn't look familiar. All right, so first one is pretty bust. Pretty bust. Uh, I mean, one new unit will take that, even if it's just an SR. Uh, red eyes? No. Oh, dude, I thought they were going to pan up and show the sun. I was like, Escanor? But no. Okay, at least we're not going to lose. That's fine. Well, at least take that and see what we can get here, baby. Um, all right. Doesn't look like anything. <laughs> Does not look like any. Oh, God damn it. Meliodas. Why are you such a loser? I mean, that did look really cool, though. I'm not going to lie. All right. Five golds. Five golds. So, again, five chances to get a fake out, but probably not, right? Um, this is, I do like the fake out mechanic. Um, that's one thing that I kind of am not a huge fan of Bleach Brave Souls. It's like, yeah, they also have a fake out mechanic, but if it doesn't fake out right in the beginning, like essentially in that pull down animation, right? Like if you don't see a fake out in the pull down animation, then you are not going to get anything. So I guess it kind of, it's nice in a way because you know, you can just skip without missing anything. But it also sucks because sometimes there's hypeness that you can get while going in, right? Like sometimes you can get that last second unit that just fakes out and is like, boom, let's go. We got them. Uh, but unfortunately, in um, Bleach Brave Souls, you can't do that. I don't know if it's the same in this game. Maybe it is. Maybe, it, you know, it, it lets you know if there's going to be a fake out. But I don't think so. Because like I said earlier, I'm not 100% sure on all of the animations. But this one looks like it was five golds, no fake outs. All right, let's keep going. Uh, guaranteed SSR, we'll, we'll go to that. We'll definitely go to that and hopefully it can be the Esterosa. Uh, all right, so we're gonna get the branch again, huh? We haven't had Lost Vein at all and we're gonna lose again. This is the thing with this game, man. I think the despair arcs in this game could go probably longer than most games. Uh, would you guys agree with that? Like, what is the worst game in terms of, like, their rates and um, where, like, you can just get shafted for long periods of time? Is it this game? Like, yes, this game has the guaranteed SSR mechanic, but does it really feel like it saves you? Because, like... It could be just a trash tier SSR, right? Like that could definitely be a thing. Um, I think what would make sense is that I know that they have like on certain step ups, they have where after X amount of summons or whatever, you're guaranteed the unit. That's a lot better. That feels way, way better. They did the same thing in Naruto Blazing, though I think they took it away and then they brought it back recently because um, I know that game was kind of having issues and then it started coming back. Same thing with One Piece Treasure Cruise. One Piece Treasure Cruise actually has been good with giving out rainbow gems recently and um, making banners actually decent because for a while they weren't they weren't that great. Um, but I always love like getting guaranteed like you're 100% going to get the unit. I like to see that. Um, all right, so I need to do what? 82 more multis? All right, we'll give it two more. We'll give it two more. It's not going to use everything, but okay. Bruh, Meliodas, man, you too weak, dog. <laughs> why are you so weak for me right now? Honestly, why are you so weak for me right now? All right, so we got the gold text, which I don't think really matters at the end of the day. Uh five again okay come on let's get a fake out baby yeah that's hauser's just laughing at me <laughs> whack 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 um if we use like 150 180 gems and we walk away with esterosa that'll be very nice i don't think that's gonna happen but uh like on my escanor summons i think i had to go down to the last last multi that i had which was something around like 210 gems or something like that, diamonds, whatever, um, is how deep I had to go to get them. So I don't know if 
Escanor is definitely worth it. I don't know if Esterosa is worth it. Would you guys say Esterosa is worth going real deep on this, or should I just keep saving for like the Lost Vein Meliodas that's going to eventually come out and uh, uh, Derriere, Der- 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 whatever the hell her name is, um, Monspeed's uh, girl? Because I know that she's like monstrous for PVE. Monstrous for PvP. What would, or PvE, I should say. What would be really, really funny, though, is like right when I'm about to finish recording this, if my power comes back on, that would be actually hilarious. All right, let's keep going. Come on. Come on. All right, we got Hawk again. Um, does it matter if it's sunny out or if it's nighttime? Does that do anything? I'm not sure. All right, we didn't lose... Bro, this was pretty terrible luck that we didn't get a single SSR in all of these summons. That is a little unfortunate. But, like, for me at least, the reason why I decided to go in on this banner is because, like, I have so many sources to be able to get, um, you know, in-game currency from. Like, it's actually insane. I've only just beat, like, the first... There it is right there. The first stage um, in terms of, like, uh, the story. Like, I just completely 100%ed it. Actually, I'm not even done 100%. I just have the town at town level 5. And then I have to move on to stage 2, stage 3, stage 4, you know, part 2, part 3, whatever it is. Um, so I have, like, a lot that I still have to take care of. Plus PvP, like, I literally just finished my placements for the first time ever on my account. <laughs> so it's like, I know there's a ton of um, uh, gems or diamonds you can get from uh, the PvP. So it's like, I still have so many sources that I can get uh, free-to-play, you know, um, whatever from to be able to summon. So I'm not too worried about getting this, the, the, the diamonds or whatever back up there. It's not a big deal. Like, it's, it's going to be pretty simple to be able to do that, to be quite honest. So not a big deal at all. Um, but I would like it if you give me something, like something, anything. All right, so here it is, guaranteed SSR. <sighs> Come on, bro. Let's let's like let's make it more than one, please. Let's make it more than one, can we? That'd be really nice. Hawk again. All right, we got we got the sword finally. Though that just is guaranteed SSR, so I don't think it it really means that much, right? Like. Is there, an, I know Escanor means that you're getting, what, two SSRs, at least two. Is there a um, a guaranteed featured unit, kind of like on Dokkan Battle, is there a, like, Zeno uh, animation or, like, a Goku Black Rift animation? Come on, more than one. God. Just one. Come on. The hell. Good Lord, dude. Absolutely shafted these... Like, that means that in all those multis, not a single SSR because it had to give me the guaranteed SSR. That is horrible rates, bro. That's actually terrible. Thank goodness these multis are only 30. Imagine if these joints were 50, bro. I mean, that is why the rates are so bad. It's because they're only 30. That's the only reason they do that. Because goodness gracious. No one would play this game if that was the case. That was pretty terrible, bro. All right, so I think this is it right here. Nope, next one. It, it wasn't the last one, I don't think. I don't think it was the last one. All right, maybe it is. Who knows? <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. Fake out. Bro, they really didn't give me a single, a single SSR in all of these multis, bro. I had to literally get the guaranteed joint. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. Looks like I won't begin Esterosa. Wow. Th- that was literally probably some of the worst summons you you guys probably ever seen before. So please leave a like. <laughs> please share the video if you can, because uh, damn, that was absolutely terrible. That was my first Hendrickson. So whatever. But damn, that really just took everything. And uh, that was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Anyway, if you like the video, you already know what to do. Share the video. That helps a lot. Um, Hopefully, like I said, if you guys are on the East Coast, uh, you know, you didn't experience anything uh, 
anything too bad during the storm. Hopefully you have power because not having power in the water sucks. Uh, but it is what it is. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed already, usually my videos are a lot better than this, but <laughs> we do what we got to do. Um, gently rub that sub button, gingerly ring that bell button, lovingly kiss the like button. As always, this is Periodic. See y'all in the next video.